All right, everyone. This is Justin Williams Savoy, and uh, this morning I'm still feeling kind of sick. You know, um, as I said in the last video that I made, I've had COVID. It's been weeks now, and I've still been feeling um, under the weather. I'm <clears throat> feeling a little bit better and able to provide some more content now. So. Well, I'm just kind of this morning um, <clears throat> watching YouTube videos, <clears throat> nerding out on old Japanese PC games and Japanese tabletop role-playing games, just typical geek stuff. I decided to upload some content. What have I here? They're the old uh, Comico uh, Robotech comics. If you remember those, they even have the as seen on TV down there in the corner. And so I start, thought I would start by looking at some of these as I've been doing the Robotech Visual Archives. Um, and I talked about the Robotech novels. These are also um, from my youth. The same friend of mine in grade school, his name was Gary. He is a cool dude. He liked pretty cool nerd stuff, man. He had like the first original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle black and white comics. Introduced me to a whole world of more underground comics. Um, just an all-around really cool guy with great taste and stuff. I think he had a bunch of the old Robotech toys as well. I wish I could get my hands on those old ones. Um, older ones. There's been like remake and more modern ones. But anyways, I might have a few more of these floating around. I haven't really put in much effort into trying to collect a bunch of these. But I do like them. I think it goes back to my childhood. And I just like Robotech. I don't like the new Robotech comics really that much at all. Um, but in light of showing you guys the novels and then looking at um, the visual archives, I thought we'd take a quick look at some of these. Um, so in no specific order, really, I tried to put them in numeric order and by the series of uh, Masters, New Generation, and I have Sentinels here. <coughs> um, I really like the Masters um, style and aesthetic. So, um, I do need to, like, you can find these sometimes cheap, like, in almost, like, dollar bins. I don't know. They're very cool, in my opinion, because they were out around the time that I was getting obsessed with the actual, um, Maycross saga that was presented on U.S. television, the Harmony Gold, um, versions. Of course, I've watched Southern Cross. I've watched other, um... Um, original versions of Maycross before it was um, changed into what you saw from Harmony Gold. And hey, that's what we had at first, so that's what we kind of dealt with. And um, I used to have this when I was a kid, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty obsessed with Robotech still. I wouldn't say I'm any kind of avid collector at all. Um, I was happy to get these novels. I've watched this series over and over again. I've also watched, what is it, Super Dimensional Fortress Orgus. And what is the other one that I like? Is it Megazone 23, 23, I think? And there's like, um, what is it, I-Z-C-E-R. I'm trying to remember just what comes to mind um, of some other anime series. I used to have a bunch on tape. I had a bunch of uh, Gundam stuff on VHS tape. There was this time period where I was in this horrible relationship and this chick tried to just systematically get rid of most things that I was interested in. She was just a, kind of a weirdo. So, uh, thoroughly over that. This is really cool. Um, right here, this Grendel Matt Wagner's Grindel. I remember the Mage series that he did too, but I like the original. I like the Grindel, um, what, what was her name? Christina, the one with, um, she was like Hunter Rose's daughter and the one that the Pander Brothers did. And I think that they were Portland-based artists at the time. I thought that was dope. I'm still a fan. You can get the Hunter Rose, Devil by Deed, black and white, um, I think, and like red. Uh, comic editions, and I guess there's going to be a TV series of Grendel uh, from what I've heard. So that's cool or whatever, but I would like to get my hands on those original Pander Brothers editions, and I will. Um, I really like the art style. Um, 
Yeah, and who was the 80s artist that those guys drew inspiration from? Maybe it'll pop into my head, maybe it won't, but anyways, just taking a look at these. Very cool just to kind of immerse yourself into the Robotech uh, mythos. Look at that Robotech role-playing game. I remember all of this stuff. This is what got me going. This and like Akira, Appleseed, Dominion Take Police. Coming from Comico. This is interesting too to see what... Was Badger there? Look at that. There's that Grindel right there that I'm talking about, too. Uh, 1986. I was reading this stuff when I was so young. I was like 10. I was telling Autumn, uh, my girlfriend, so much more than girlfriend. I was like, hey, um, I was playing Steve Jackson GURPS. Like, okay, first I got into like Car Wars, but then I was playing Steve Jackson GURPS, like Auto Duel and stuff when I was 10. I was such like a little introvert. Here's the original toys right here. Matchbox. Okay, I was thinking Hasbro for some reason, but Matchbox. So, dope. Um, I remember seeing all of those in, it wasn't Toys R Us. I think it was KB Toys back in the day in the mall in Southern Oregon. Um, but when I lived in Orange County, I spent so much time after school like reading and playing on IBM PC computer, Sierra Nevada games, mostly like King's Quest and stuff like that. And then doing like, um, um, playing tabletop RPGs. And I didn't have a lot of friends that were into that. Mostly my friends were into like hip hop at the time. And at the time I was involved with a lot of like gang stuff in Orange County. So there was that whole life. But then I had that side of me that was real introverted bookworm still just that's just the person i am to this very day you know um throws a lot of people off but really truly i am an introvert i'm happy to do these things by myself my children are here um with me today and they like to play like minecraft and do like gaming stuff roblox and stuff like that um on their devices and chill and they like to read and um watch Different shows on YouTube, I don't know, but um, my 10-year-old and I are going to get into doing some programming and stuff together um, as well. So I thought I'd just make some content really quick, and a lot of what I do here is like also um, vlogging in a way, and chronicling, like making um, like vlogs of my loves, my likes, my passions, interests. I'd love to watch all of um, the Robotech. Not as much the Harmony Gold ones as like the original Japanese stuff with like Mostpedia and all these. They were really separate, um, unrelated animes really. Um, what is it? Like Orgus? All of that stuff. Robotech 3D. Very interesting. It's been a long time through, since I've thumbed through some of these, but I'm going to start doing this like in the mornings, going through some books, going through um, some uh, comics, maybe art books and whatnot uh, with you guys. And hopefully some of you guys will find that of interest. Yeah, this is a lot of what started me on my um, craze for Japanese mechas. That along with, I think, Sierra Nevada, or is it Sierra Games? Whatever, just Sierra Games. They released um, a version of Thexter, and I think I played Thexter and Sylphid on a couple of PC games. I might have got the first copy I might have got of one of the ones for the PC. It was like out of Swap Meet or something with my dad in Orange County. But that also got me on like a mecha, Japanese mech, gunpla craze. And I've just loved the models and like mostly like Japanese Transformers and stuff, the real Takara Tommy stuff um, for ages. But that, along with Robotech, kind of got me going on um, just the craze, Japanese mecha mania. And I just think that that stuff's dope. I like it. And I pretty much. Always I'm going to like that stuff. Right now I'm doing some frame arms 
models I kind of slowed down on it autumn and i were working on one together <clears throat> and then i got sick but i'd like to resume that i'm kind of liking those as opposed to just gundam gun plus stuff um right now so this summer has been interesting it's really hot outside and kind of smoky and weird from some fires around southern oregon <laughs> but mostly <clears throat> I've been having this COVID is like moved into my chest too. And I'm already, I've had asthma all of my life and I have like, um, respiratory stuff anyways. Um, I've been hospitalized a couple times for respiratory infections. So I just need to like be cautious and be cool. It's hard because I've had like COVID now like two or three times. And it's like, yeah, I don't know you guys. I mean, I know many of you have as well. It just gets to be annoying, but be that as it may, I've had some downtime to slow it down, and I think that's been good for me, and just to kind of reboot and get back into likes and hobbies and interests, and then I got like a reading list of some classical literature and some philosophy and theology stuff I want to uh, read this Winter, some stuff from the canon of Western literature, most likely. Um, here's another copy of The New Generation, which is really taken from Mostpedia, right? So, um, here, I'm not going to open up that one. We'll just look at that like that. But yeah, I'm enjoying looking at these, like getting these out. And this is a great way to do this is to like videotape it as I do it. It gives me a chance to like look through this stuff. It's been a long time since I've really explored um, these. I need to be getting into reading more comics and graphic novels again. <laughs> I have not wanted to read it all. All I've pretty much done is played like Dark Souls, played Elden Ring. Um, that's like a kind of all I've been able to do pretty laid out, watch some YouTube videos, <clears throat> but hopefully there's mage right there. Um, I'll be back on track soon enough. And so I like that. Now let's, what was his name? Kronk? In the, no, no, no. That was like on Voltron, huh? That, <laughs> I'm like, right? Or am I getting it confused? I need to like look up. That is so weird. He's all like skinny looking here, but like, he's like a big dude normally. He reminds me of um, a character in Steins Gate also. But, uh, I forget that character's name, but I think the guy that I'm thinking of may have been from, like, Voltron. I like, like, Lion Force Voltron. That was another one that I was really into. Scott Rand Annie Rook Lunk and Lancer. Lunk was that dude's name. All right. <laughs> oh, and these are black and white. That's cool. I like that. The Sentinels. Very interesting. I like the look of it. I really like black and white comics. The stuff I started reading, Aerosol comics, uh, were all black and white originally back in the day. Yeah, I like the look of these. I'm going to have to pick up, like, I'm such a completionist that eventually I'd like to get a ratio of all of these. And I don't think that they're that pricey um, right now. I have some sources to find them. I'm wanting to get more aerosol comics. I did a video on those and get um, Samurai and some other ones, Dragon Ring, that I grew up reading as a kid. Those are really important to me. I just found a bunch of Elf Lord um, issues of Elf Lord. Um, when I was with Autumn on a trip to the Oregon Coast, in a used bookstore there, and that inspired me. That was really awesome to find those in the wild, you know, like in a brick and mortar store. 
Um, so yeah, guys, I'm still not feeling too well, so I'll probably prepare some lunch for my kiddos and try to take it easy. I'd like to go out into nature tomorrow, go to the river or something. These aren't in the best condition, I know, but really, um, it's not really my doing currently. No, I try to keep the stuff in the best condition I can. I'm never going to really, I'm interested in um, c collecting only for one reason, and that is to, um, for my own enjoyment, really. So, but I don't beat up on these or anything. Some of them just kind of found them as is, you know. But this is Justin William Savoy, and I thank you guys uh, so much for... Um, joining me as I make these videos on the old uh, Comico um, Robotech as seen on TV comics. What is the date here? Look at that. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. 1987. Yep, so thanks so much guys and I look forward to providing you with more content of all sorts. I've kind of began some work on um, revising, kind of changing and modifying the channel, and I hope you enjoy that. I kind of added the new trailer of more of the direction that I'm going with it. It's not going to be so much focused on um, the topics that it used to be, but it's kind of morphing and molding into something more that's going to bring me a lot more joy. I will probably still do um, mental health and psychology, psychiatry videos, um, but for now, this is what I'm doing. All right, thank you so much, Justin William Savoy. And I will be talking to you all again very, very soon. Peace.